To glow to me is about reclaiming our birthright to this luminous life that's available to each of us. What I talk about is really coming home to yourself. And I think the book is really an invitation for us to do that and to use self-care as a pathway to our empowerment and helping us to slow down so that we can listen to these whispers that life sends us. And I believe that you glow when you're doing that. I believe that when you're doing the things that are aligned with you spiritually and aligned with your purpose and what you're meant to do in the world, that you illumine everything and everything that you touch and your path is graced. I kind of ask us to slow down and come to know ourselves through our dreams. And so there's a bunch of tips, I think, around how to level out distraction, because one of the biggest impediments to our being able to tune in is noise, right? And not sound, but like noise. So one of the things I think is hugely important as a tip is phone fasting. Pretty straightforward. We like need to turn off our phones, put them in another room, spend time with people that we love, go into nature, be outside, get your feet in the soil. We need to turn off these devices. We're way too connected to them. But we have, like no tether to like what's happening around us. I think that in the times that we live with all that's happening around us and everybody has an entry point for them, whether it's political or social, it's imperative, I think, that there are leaders, not just on a larger scale. And I think that we each have to become a model for leadership and an example for those who are coming up behind us to be able to feel that it's possible to have a life worth living.